Hey, how's it going everyone? Fumencho here, back again for another video. Thank you for tuning in. I know it's been a little while, it's been about a week since my last video. Um, work has just been crazy, I've been working like every day since that last video it feels like. And I've just been extremely tired, coming home really late and not feeling up to actually making a video. But this topic, I just had to make a video of. I just had to. Um, I don't know how you not talk about this. It is just... What? So... Apparently, the famous blue blur himself, Sonic the Hedgehog, is getting a movie um, and is being developed by Sony and Sega, and it is going to be, it's a slated release um, in 2018. I don't know how I feel about this. I really don't. So for starters, I love Sonic. I love OG Sonic, the cool Sonic, the one that everyone loves. Um, I don't really like, I actually hate, I will blatantly admit that I hate Pretty much every Sonic game that has released in the last decade, Sonic Generations, eh, it was pretty good. It was a pretty good game. But other than that, every other Sonic game, I feel like it's just been complete and utter garbage. Um, just straight up just trash. And I don't want to see another Sonic game unless it is actually good. Just please, God, just retire this character. If you don't want to put effort into it, then just don't do it at all. It pisses me off to see such a beloved IP being treated so badly and just being just dragged through the mud constantly. But maybe this film, this movie can breathe new life into Sonic and make people actually give a damn about this character again. So I like this news, I do, I really do. It was announced by uh, Hajime Satomi, the CEO of Sega, kind of paraphrasing here, but basically he said he wanted to kind of expand what Sega started and you know, basically start making more money like every other company in the world. And I think it is a smart move to make a Sonic movie. It really is. A lot of people love Sonic, and I feel like it's very kid-friendly. A lot of people would go see this, and I think it works. I think you could make this thing work. But the news that scares me, the part of this that really frightens me, is that it was announced that it was going to be a live-action animation hybrid. I don't like this news. I think that it is really really unnecessary i think that you could easily have a sonic movie that's just fully animated you know pixar you know dreamworks animation style and just have a good film that plays out the way the first game sort of played out just have it in green hill zone different worlds and have dr robotnik or eggman or whatever you whatever you want to call him and just have a good story of, of this really fast character maybe have knuckles and tails jump in there for fun and just have a good fun time but I don't know why you need to make it a live action hybrid. Now, I don't really know what that means, to be honest. Does that mean like, like Alvin and the Chipmunks kind of stuff? Or like, you know, like Garfield and all those other horrendous, horrendous iterations of, you know, really beloved characters? Or does it mean they're doing like l real life backgrounds maybe? Or Sonic in the real war? I, I don't really know. I, and I'm scared to find out. I really am. If this is like Sonic in the real world, like Sonic running around New York City and people there and like seeing him, then uh, I don't want to swear that that bad. I was about to say something really bad. I don't want to say that. Uh, I'm trying to keep this channel at least a little, uh, at least PG-13. I don't want to go that far. But my God, I do not want to see that. I don't think anyone wants to see Sonic interacting with humans. I, I, I've always despised that. It's happened in some of the games, and I just can't stand it. I think it is so stupid. Uh, I remember watching uh, the anime, and it just baffled me that there was actually human characters that like talked to Sonic. I was like, what? That doesn't really make sense. I mean, I know Dr. Robotnik is sort of human, but it's, it's not really supposed to be like real world. Like I never imagined it, at least in my opinion, just playing the original Sonic, I never imagined it to be that way. Maybe the original creator wanted it to be that way and it just couldn't interpret it very well. Uh, on the you know the Sega systems and all that stuff, but I don't know whatever his, I don't know what his vision is. I don't even, he has nothing to do with any of the games that have been releasing lately. So, um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that part. I do want a Sonic movie, and I think it's a great move by Sega. I think they can make a lot of money off of this, but it's scary. They need to tread very lightly, and they need to be very smart about this. I feel like with a lot of Sonic games lately, they've been jumping the gun and you know getting big developers, I remember with Sonic Boom, it was the, the original Crash Bandicoot developers, uh, you know, at least some of those guys over there, being brought over and, you know, working on this game, but the game came out so sloppy, so trashy, and just absolutely horrendous 
might be, you know, considered the worst game of all time. And I feel like they just jumped the gun. They 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 got overexcited and they got over um what's the word? Overconfident and released a broken piece of trash game. I don't want to see that with this movie. They need to take their time, take a step back, and really work hard on this. Anyway, what do I want to see in this movie? I don't really know. I just want Green Hill Zone and, you know, beautiful animation. I'm talking beautiful animation. Have, like, really good... I, I would see this in 3D, honestly, with, like, Sonic going on loops and stuff. You could make this movie so good. This could be something so very special if it's done correctly. But, you know... Every single movie could be very, very good if it was done correctly. But again, this is a very special property that you can make look amazing on the big screen. And I would see this movie in a heartbeat just as long as I don't have human interactions in there. I don't want to see an actor like coming in and talking to Sonic and then Sonic, you know, zooming off through New York City or I don't know, God knows where. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on this film. I think it is a good idea, but I think it needs to be, um, monitored very well by Sega. And I think it needs to be, um, this thing needs to be special because you know, they want to spin this off into a franchise. And, and I think that is a very smart thing to do. So please God make this thing work Sega and Sony pictures. Um, anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you guys very much for watching. That sounded weird for some reason. Uh, comment below. Tell me what you think of this Sonic news. Do you like the idea of a Sonic movie? Do you think it's smart from, for Sega to do something like this? And how do you feel about the animation live action hybrid thing? I'm not even sure what you call that, but how do you feel about that? Do you think that that could possibly work? Give me your opinion on it. Comment below and let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed anything that I've talked about today. And of course, subscribing helps me out a lot. And I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'm sorry that I haven't been producing much content lately. I'm working, uh, you know, all the time, as I mentioned earlier. And um, yeah, I'm going to try to produce more content for you guys because I have a lot of fun doing it. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Until next time, I will see you guys later.